Thank you for taking your time here and being with us, especially on a day like this. We also have among us... For making this inauguration a grand success. But I would like to especially, especially thank our athletes who have come all the way from different parts of our state to be present here and to take part in the fifth Meghalaya Games. This is indeed a very, I still remember, I think three, four months back, I came here with our, on, uh, with our chief engineer, Babi Bhatt, and the entire team to come and inspect this particular stadium. And at that moment, Honestly, I, I didn't think that we can make it in time and we can finish this project in time. But we have set a deadline and with the de dedication and hard work of our chief engineer and his entire team, I'm very happy and very proud to say this, that today it is, like I said, a, indeed a very, very proud moment for us as a government to be able to finish this project in time. We've set a deadline then that we have to finish this project no matter what before the 5th Megalai Games. And like I said, it is a very proud moment for us that we, could, we actually did finish it in time. And the past six, seven months, I think I've visited Garvels for more than four or five times. Actually more than that. To make sure that the Fifth Meghalaya Games, which is held here in Tura, that to make sure that it becomes a great success. And I'm telling you that we as a government under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister with his vision, with his dedication and hard work and the entire team of the sports department, we want to make sure that this Meghalaya Games is something that people in our state have never seen before. That is our commitment, that is our aim, that is our objective, that we provide the best for our athletes and our youth of the state through this 5th Meghalaya Games. And like I said, the past six, seven months, I've come here so many times, and not only in Garo Hills, but the entire state, I've visited so many districts. And I'll tell you, the past six, seven months, the, um, what I've seen, that I use, the, um, the, the talent that I use has is something else. And seeing that, and under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, we've spoken so many times, and I've told him that our youth have so much of talent, but we as a government, what can we do for our youths? And I will tell you that we as a government are dedicated, are committed to ensure that the youth of our state, be it in sports or be it in anything, that we as a government provide the best for them. And I'll, I'll tell you, the past, I think the past five to ten years, if you look at sports department, it was not as huge as it is right now. But the past five years, if you look at sports, now it's one of the biggest in our state. Why, are we, why the government is focusing so much on sports? It's it is because we want to empower a youth, we want to uplift them through sports. And with the hard work and dedication that we have, I truly believe that we can achieve all that. This today, inaugurating this athletic track and field stadium, indeed is a great pride for us. But let me tell you that this will not be, we will not stop here. This I can assure you that the sports department will provide the best for the state as a whole that we will not stop only in this athletic track and field but we will go further ahead to provide the best infra infrastructures for the youth of our state, for the sportsmen of our state. And I really hope that with the amount of infrastructure that the government provides that we can see that the use of our state grow through it. We want to see 
that are used as sports person of a state we want to see them not only on state level but we want to see them on national level even international level as well we have so many programs going on right now to to promote sports as a whole in our state and i really hope and i truly believe that someday what our aim and our objective to see the youth of our state shine in national level or international level as well and i truly believe that someday we can witness all that so i will not take much of your time i just want to congratulate each and every one of you especially everyone who's been a part of this particular project to make it a grand success and i want to congratulate all the athletes for participating in this fifth meghalaya games make sure that you have fun but then be dedicated work hard and i wish all of you the very best and with these few words i conclude my speech i will not take much of your time with these few words i conclude my speech thank you so much kulish board mithila